So the, let's go chapter one, my childhood. Um, it's really tough for me to talk about that, but let's go. Okay, let's start the divorce. So when I was five years old, my mom and my dad, they divorced. My father, he was an alcoholic, so he was very aggressive with my mother and she decided to escape. She left everything that we had behind and we went to live basically in the streets. Um, to not see me and my sister starving, she took us to her friend's place. And this friend kind of took care of us, but she was really bad. And I don't wanna tell you all the details because it's horrible, but my, me and my sister, we suffer a lot on her hands and we couldn't see our mother anymore. My mother, we, she, this woman just disappeared with us. Okay, I'm gonna tell one of the things. I didn't have a bed. My my bed was a kind of you know where the chicken lives, where you put the chickens to to live there. And kind, we call it galinheiro in Portuguese. So that was where I was sleeping, and I was five years old, and I was sleeping in that place, you know, every single day for almost two. It's a long time, almost two years. I don't remember. Uh, and also I remember was I did something she didn't like and she took my tooth up okay. never grew up again this see I started to show that never grow again and that's it next and when I was seven is a long story I don't want to tell you like everything but we finally found our mother again and we start to live together, me, my mother, my sister. And I start work really young. My mother teach me how to tailor and I also teach my sister. So me and my sister, we are like best friends. And she's always been with me. She took me to the mall for the first time because I was working a lot when I was a kid. So I we had some fun time. Okay, so I do. What do I mean by um, being an adult with being a child with adult responsibility? I mean that I was Max and Sissy's age and I had to pay a bill like a water or light or even the rent because if we're not, we're gonna go out to the streets or we don't have any water to to take shower. <laughs> hey, love, how are you? You know, was a huge thing. <laughs> My dogs. Hello. But I'm so grateful for that because my mom teach me how to be responsible since I was young. And, you know, if I had to grow up and born and if I have a chance to live again, my childhood, I want to live exactly the same thing. Born in a really shit place and because I learned so much from my mother and I'm grateful if I mean like that right now, that's because of her. Thank you so much. <laughs> I have a funny story. This is fun. I was your age, Sissy. That's Sissy over here. This is for you too. <laughs> I'm eating chocolate. And uh, I prefer to buy chocolate, like a box of chocolate, and spending my money with sweets, than pay the, the light. And what happened? They cut the light and we are one month without light in the house. <laughs> well, something I would do. My mother got so mad. But I sold my chocolate to my friend for money. Mm, that's smart. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling a funny story. And the to the time. YouTube, like one time, I think it was like Sissy's age mm -hmm. and uh, I was supposed to pay the light, the bill. Yeah. And I didn't pay. I spent all my money with uh, sweets and shit food. And my mom got so mad and they cut the light. We were like one month without light in the house. You should be telling these stories. <laughs> <laughs> That's I and now what about my job? The place I was working. I don't have any pictures of the... I was working in the street market to sell pastel. That's a really delicious food. And it was really, really weird. I think it was like eight, something like that. And I also has a tailor during the week. In the weekend in the street market. 
and sometimes like my neighbor oh uh, we need to do some need to do something like oh my garden and i want to take the job so i was doing that for like really shit money three dollars you know and doing the whole garden <laughs> but we always had money and also uh, i like to keep myself busy so all the time i was doing something i wish i had the pictures to share with you guys but you're gonna see now in the picture of the place i worked for a long time so this was the factory i worked for a long time and we are having like a, a part with all the people that have worked there this is my sister with brian her son my boss with his ex-wife my boss with his dog that's it. <laughs> my boss, the best boss ever. He was like my father. The question is, what happened to my father? <laughs> so, the story is, he moved, he stayed with the house because me and my mom and my sister, we were when I was five years old. And he sold and bought a motorcycle. And what happened? He was drinking too much and he couldn't control himself. And had an accident and he died and, and what happened after after the accident well i didn't know like i i couldn't remember him so i didn't cry my sister she was older she could remember more like she lived more with him spend more time so she was crying and for me it was like a stranger that i you know and but uh, I start to have some memories. But anyway, no details. Yes. The funeral. I don't know where they, where they buried my father. My mother don't want to tell me. Maybe and your sister knows. No, my sister don't know either. And then we have to pay for the funeral. What happened? We, me and my mother and my sister, we just opened a little company. And she had to sell. we have to sell everything to pay his funeral and from the accident my mother got a little money and a little money that could buy another house but we start to receive letters that he had two kids but it's not true it's just all the family like or people that know him trying to get the money so my mother just gave it away she didn't I know she didn't keep, you know, we had, a, we had a chance with this money to change everything, to change our life, to live better, buy a house, even buy a, a car or whatever. And then I had, that's it.